Greetings, welcome back to Omen Side. Let's start with one memory. Due to your stairs at the ground below, the dizzying height nauseates him. To admit that he was stuck, suspended in mid-air on the commuter's rope bridge was too shameful, so he simply stays put, pretending to admire the view. A passerby carrying a heavy load approaches. The bridge wobbles and Ludomir struggles in silence. Suddenly, the passerby turns to Ludomir, his face mildly curious. Are you a Pegarian by chance? Ludomir snorted. Never. I didn't mean to offend, of course. I'm Fjobor, by the way. I'm Ludomir. I guess you're not Pegarian either, so why are you heading there? A new calling, a new life. That's not something you hear often in Ralia. The future is unpredictable. You never know what you'll begin to hear. Fair enough. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Where are you headed? Dimitrios. <laughs> Nowhere right now. I've got quite a lot here, Fjobor begins. If you wouldn't mind helping me study this week, I would be much obliged. Ludomi thinks a moment, eyeing the length of a heavy duty pole jutting out of Fibos pack. That pole could be the saving grace Ludomi needs to get off this wobbly, rickety menace. Alright, Ludomi agrees. I've got some free time. Splendid! If you don't mind, let's get going. This flimsy rope bridge has put me on edge. You know what I mean? Ludomi smith. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, this is why I don't like this place already. I touched them before and nothing happens. Happened. Bloody monsters! Damn you! I see them. What the hell? Oh. Mia, I need something to heal. Vera was my sister, as dear to me as if she were blood. We were close when we were growing up. Then, we just drifted apart, and I failed her when she needed me most. The vengeful spirit you sent me has accomplished its mission, little sister. That's what you wanted, right? Peace. Vera? What are you saying? Not at peace? Sword? That sword? What do you mean, too late? What were you planning? Hmm. Maybe she did try to stop the void, but just failed. No, Odin saw you. This is not supposed to be. Had I waited a moment longer, next time I will act swifter. You are safe now, at least. I don't like that. I, what, what? Return for Amber. The tree will give you a blessing. Oh, uh, I know. I did not like that at all. We should get another blade. <laughs> Yeah, not know our sword master. Yes, we're done with that. It looks like a most more like a lens now. Okay, do you if who should I meet with? Varga? No, Ratika knows where I should go. Yes, I want to speak to Critical Moment. Go, Harbinger. I will be watching over you. I think. Yeah. 
Yes. Now see. Terrace place. Okay, okay. Still, I need to go with Ratika to your box temple to Get him! level secret. I remember, okay? Hmm. Or maybe this is the way they are trying to stop the void by selling it out. I'm feeling that I will have to counter Vogan. See this symbol here? This is Vera's. She and I, we knew each other a long time. To her, the art of creating and inscribing these seals was sacred. She wouldn't have shared the means to unlock the gate with just anyone. Okay, you know what? Actually, I know that I can unlock it, so let's just go. Wait, how did you do that? I have my secrets. Never mind. You are a supernatural being. I don't quite understand what was happening here. Transgression. Vera's transgression. Tra Vera's transgressions revealed. What do you mean? No! The memory! No! Are you alright? No. 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 Don't. 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 The memory. Uh, achievement log, the plot thickens. We need to go with Fratica once more. I can't bring you home. No, no, no. Fight me. Trouble. No, I'm alone. I dodged that. This was so pretty. Am I cleansing this place or what? Okay, hope I don't have to die.
this is a little bit anticlimactic. No, okay. Bogan, I came to bargain. Well. Do I have to die? Sometimes it's just like that. No. Okay, so something bad. Oh, how unusual. Maybe there was some enemies left, invisible. But are I kind of visible? Because I threw some enemies out of the arena or something? I don't know. I have no idea what's happening here. I have seen oh, no. the breach, but I doubt we are safe. Odin is likely to be gathering his strength for another attack. I you was... must hurry. I was in grief cell so quickly. How wrong I was. But what? The priestess is in league with the void, with Vodin. She's not. Then all is lost. Perhaps we have no choice but to abandon this world to its fate. Because... Oh, she tried to help me. I just want to try to help me. And I can get anything. No. Uh, well, I should go back. Yes, before Attica. So it begins. Another chance to save Euralia. No. Okay. Time I didn't kill her? I didn't kill her? Sorry. Sorry. So, Vera. Vera wanted to find a way to end the war. When she became the godless priestess, Ludomir said she took on more burdens than anyone should or could. Vera thought she could control that. that thing. Okay. She was so sure it could defeat the Empire and bring the war to an end. And after it had done that, she said she would banish what she summoned, send it back to where it came from. But when you open a door like that, you can't just close it again. She didn't listen to me. She wasn't in her right mind, in her eyes. It was like she didn't even see me anymore, and I knew I couldn't let her do it. <sighs> Great job. And here you are, looking for answers. Sorry. I have no... Hold on. Do you hear that? That new transfer to the torture room gives me their creeps. I swear the smirky head. 
He's planning something. Oh, hello. Who was transferred? Samula! That's it. The torture room. We may have your answers yet. I think so. Who's in the? Who the hell is in torture room? Ah, oh, stop it. Vision showed that circle of cultists who had hold of the godless priestess. I recognize one of those slithery folks in that circle. Who? He's here, in the prison. Okay. For the last time, how do we stop that thing that you and Vera have summoned? Tell me or... Or what? You start singing? Yeah. See, my friend here never talks. Can you even imagine all the anger that must be bottling up inside? Wait, I'll talk. Put that away. Not that it matters. You've already lost. Why the bravery act then? Just tell us everything and then gloat as you watch us fail. Well. It would give me a small amount of pleasure, yes. To stop the void, you would have to find Clatton. And even if you did that, an assassin has been sent for the only one who knows how to inscribe the seal on the blade. Unfair. I've never had an assassin on my trail. Sending a bear drunken ale and vengeance will be the end of the Emperor. And even if that should fail, we know the Emperor's next move. We will be there to stop it. Oh my. So where is Indrik going next? When I said we know, I meant my friends know. They don't tell me everything. Put that away, please. I, I, I spoke in haste. Indrik. He wouldn't know the sword is gone. We've engineered the whole damn thing. You've said enough. We've gotten all we need from this prisoner. Thanks for the assist. Now, the vault. If you think oh, anyone will be there, well, I guess. Oh, Ludomir's still alive in the temple. Hmm, interesting. I stabbed a good friend. Now I'm trying to save my worst enemy. Not even I could write a song to carry the highs and lows of the strangeness of today. <clears throat> Let's keep that between you and me. Sure. No. Yeah, actually, I like those enemies the best. Because they're not using shields. I know. Oh no, Radica, you're so clever, you're dumb. I forgot to ask Baron von Charming in the torture chamber about Vera. I mean, if I'm not the one who killed her, who did? Yes, I don't think she's dead. To be honest. Oh no, Ludomi told that he found her body in sewers, right? But what if it wasn't really her body? Hmm. Okay, whose memory is this? Yeah. The venerable Pregarian is staring above Fjobor, Sarah looking, as always. He spoke to me again, Locrin says. For generations, Fulton has been whispering to chosen few, those who would understand, and for generations, they had been hiding in the shadows, placing their pieces on the board, pulling strings, one little step at a time. Lately, Fulton's voice has grown closer, stronger, more urgent. The time for the great change has come. All their hard work would finally be rewarded. How fast are godless priestess, the patriarch asks. She will be ready soon. You can imagine her outrage when she learned about the number Indrik did on her brother. Heh, <laughs> and I feel sorry for the poor bastard. Tell your Dancing friend Zuhari 
The last thing we want is for Indri to remember the Firebird ritual. Strengthening Cladon would make the seal breaking near impossible, even for the priestess. Indri is your problem, Loki. You are the one who molded him, remember? Or are you worried he will suddenly grow a conscience? Conscience? No, but he may take it upon himself to do his duty. The ritual would shorten his remaining lifetime. He wouldn't. He would? Fiobo, we need to plan for the possibility. As long as he does not put his hands on the sword, he is harmless. I'll figure out something. Put me in contact with our people in the Imperial Guard. Locke nods. We meet again when the priestess commits. With the flap of his wings, the patrician departs. The priestess, Fiobo, muses. All this planning and it hinges on the one mistake the priestess needs to make. Damn. In those guts. Oh, it would be broken. Knowing he was betrayed by the one who was supposed to help him become the Emperor. Who needs an army when we've got you? Oh, you killed it. Open sesame. Soldiers! You are my Imperial forces. Hands chosen, loyal to Pigaria. What is the meaning of this betrayal? Speak! Pigaria, Urgentia, they will soon cease to exist. The future belongs to us. We are the chosen. We are the children of the void. Oh no. Listen up, we've got company. Can I help him? Just keep attacking, don't stop. Indrik can kill lots of them to save. This doesn't really matter. Damn it. Really? Just one left. Is that gaze meant to be threatening, Ratica? I owe you nothing. That's an understatement. We need to talk. I will grant you an audience, Redemption. No, I'll let you be my audience, Emperor. Come on, I know a safer place. No, oh, I, there's no cladding in here. No, it's not safe. It's not safe. Damn it, you know about all of this. Why didn't you stop them? All right. You granted me an audience. I granted you an audience. You heard my story. Now it's your turn. What's the deal with the sword? The Void was not killed by Yarbog centuries ago. It was imprisoned. This prison is a spiritual place, not of this world. The sword Cladden. Think of it as the physical anchor. A seal that locks Bowden away from this world. Well, that explains what Barrow was doing with the sword. She was breaking someone out of prison. A lot of that going around. So, look, I'm guessing there isn't an easy way to send the Void back to its prison sword thing. But there is a way, right? And then lock the door? Maybe. Yarbog instructed the first Emperor to build a hidden chamber in his temple. A chamber that was not to be opened unless all else failed. <laughs> Hold up. You've had super secret clearance to a super secret room, and you never tried to sneak in? I am a Pigarian. My word is my bond, and I respect. Ay, 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 Pigarians. <sighs> so, what's our move, oh humorless one? The Harbinger will accompany me to the temple. You search for Cladden. I fear we have little time left. And we have traitor listening. Okay. I need to somehow get to the Ferris place. Get that memory. All those postures. 
Oh, I should be able to get any memories at any given time. Doesn't look good. No, it won't be nearly enough. In return for Amber, the tree will do. Why did you start talking all of a sudden? This makes me catch up on one level. Okay, maybe it does. Yeah, I want this. Okay, so... I would really know that my hero is the hippo versus her small devotion. Yes, I want to so it say that. Another chance to so we'll just go one by one. And we'll end with Indrik. Ludomir? Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety boo. At least. I never thought something like this would happen. Sure, I thought maybe Vera was in over our head, but. But this. What are you talking about? What's going on here? Mm. Over the last few years, I saw this war filled Vera with helplessness Don't tell him. and anger. It must have driven her to summon that thing, use it to end the war. And what did I do? I know how it feels to be desperate, to be powerless. Why didn't I help? Ah, great. The Harbinger shows up, and Ludomir starts talking to himself. Hey, Ludomir, get a hold of yourself. Weren't you on your way to do something? Kill Indrik, remember? Hold on now. About Farah. Something isn't right. She survived Radica's attempt, but she's still dead. He's all sh those people around her. Shouldn't they have done something to help? I mean, Vera's the godless priestess for Yarbog's sake. How do you know about Radica? I mean, she was. She. She should have been safe. And yet, no! She's still dead! Maybe I'm showing all the omen sides. I love the latest one. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. This is a complete disaster. I wonder. Where are we going? Fjord War called you the Arbinger. You're supposed to show up when the world is about to end or something, right? Whatever the reason, let's get one thing straight. Vera. She gave up everything to try and better this world. Yeah. Whatever she was thinking. I know she wouldn't have wanted anything bad to happen to us. Ludomir. <laughs> you almost look sober. And who's that with you? A reckoning. Ah. Who's? It's what I'm here to find out. Come on. I'm more and more amazed by how deep this story just keeps going. The beginning was all just easy, just Guardians versus Redemptions. Emperor is the wrong one. We need to help the resistance, and that's it. We need to find who killed the priestess. We can find old fashioned or see those detonators up there. I cannot get there. Okay. Okay, I get you now. Of course, we use the detonators. Don't fall down, please. Just had to do that, didn't you? That went well. Yeah, let's see. 
It doesn't look right at all. There's more and more of this black goo. We have to help the others build the barricade. I'm not done here yet. Right, I can open this now. You make everything look Whoa! Help me. Let's look at that. That's the dissipation stairs in Ludomir. Any moment now, the guardians will crest that hill. Ludomir had agreed to fight for Odensia, not just because Fatika had asked, but because he knew it was the right thing to do. A chill in the air sends leaves cascading through the haphazard band of Odensians. They're not the strongest lot, Ludomir submits. If I were here, she would have a plan. Ludomir pictures the godless princess most likely standing on days giving speech on unification to Begarian nobles. An old feeling of resentment new news in his grip. How long has it been since she had moved to Begaria? She is doing her job. You are doing yours, Ludomir reminds himself. Ratika, grateful that Ludomir volunteered to fight for Odensia, had entrusted him with many state secrets. Funny, he mused. Me, learning maps and figures. I will be shocked. I had something interesting to view. Pigarian garb, the calm, the fighter in Ludomir takes no chance, and in less than a breath he zeroes in on his first target, adjacent Ludomir. Ratika hesitates. But why? Now is not the time. She finally hails on order and the attention launch into action. It's too late. So many have surrounded Ludomir already. Something wraps around his ankles and yanks. Ludomir smacks hard against the ground and feels himself being dragged backwards, opposite his comrades. He reaches to free himself, but a blow knocks him flat. He wakes up in a tiny room, dark and damp. The stink almost knocks him out again. A danger tries to try scurrying against the bars, but the metal doesn't budge. Ludomir utters a curse before rasping at the nearby Pigarian guard. Hey, how long will I rot in here? Rot? The Pigarian scoffs. You will not be so lucky. <clears throat> oh my. And yeah. <laughs> Don't see any enemies, so there's no need to endure or the detonator. Yeah, let me go. Damn it. Hey, hey, no time for treasures, mate. There's always time for treasure. Ooh, another one. <laughs> Glad I don't have to collect manually every one of them. Yo. Let go of the chesty and the pillar. Ah, the bridge. Then the city proper. We are safe now. Another one? Okay. No? No? Yeah. The avalanche was about to hit me, but before I could realize I was about to die, it suddenly stopped. All that mud frozen in the air, five feet from me. That's when I realized when I heard the music. But it saved me, saved the whole village. With a storm of applause, the villager returns to its seat. The testimonies have been going on for hours. In a moment, the council of the clans will deliberate the fate of the hero of the hour, Ratika, whose magic stopped an avalanche, who uncovered the Pigarian plot to corrupt the youth, who drove Rodentia to rise up and fight the most powerful nation in Ralia. Skinny Ratika, forgotten Ratika. The mind races. It stopped it. I stopped it. Nobody died. So why does it feel so wrong? But Vertica knows. All this new glory is built on a lie. Vertica, step forward. Oh, there's a council speaker. She complies. Therefore, 
This council grants you fully authority over our Redemption troops. Lies! Do you pledge to liberate Rodentia from the Imperial invaders? Lies! I won't rest until Rodentia is free again. Lies, lies, lies! Her mind wanders back to the day of the avalanche. She was in distress. Her younger brother had just died in her arms. I had no choice. She was brainwashed by the Pegarians. She picked up her balalaika and started plucking a melody, guided by her emotion. Sadness evolved into guilt. Guilt evolved into anger. Anger into rage. As the music grew in intensity, the ground began to rumble. You are around me. I caused the avalanche. I am a fraud. Oh, hey, our new leader, declares the council speaker. No, take it back. I don't want it. A clamor rises in unison. Boss, 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 boss. In. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Oh, the building the walls right now. Interesting. I was hit. Oh, there's a sharky boy. Damn! Where did you get the hey. Hey. Hey, 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 it's a different one. Those floating walls. I think I saw another one. No, good. Can we move forward? I warned you'd be coming this way. All right, enough pretending. Where did you hide the sword? I don't have it. Sword? Why are you asking about? Wait, are you the bastard who killed her? Did you kill Vera? I'm the one asking the questions. Yeah, you asked about the sword, and I'm asking about Vera. A question for a question, Vera used to say. Now, like you said, enough pretending. I know you lot were with her before she died, so I'll ask you again. Did you kill her? Ludimir is a traitor! He brought an Imperial witch to ambush us! Kill them! Seriously. The I'm no witch. Oh. What species is that lure? Oh, well, they have a witch. Let's attack together! Oh, fight till the end! And that's your end. It's gotta be. Why else would they turn on us like that? Yeah, I think so as well. Everyone was more betrayed. Drake. A scholar, let's say. Ratika, hit by her own people. Vera. No, kill them. By everyone. Ludomir, Draga. You no, know, actually, I think Draga was <laughs> this affected by all of this. Okay, I was wondering where he where he's gone to. She made me swear to never enter this place, no matter what happens. I hope she'll forgive me. He has no choice. Blood. 
Veras. They killed her here on this spot. Some friends she had. Oh, I should have been here. She was in pain. But I was a coward. I couldn't face her, talk to her. She wasn't the Vera I grew up with. Her eyes. She had taken on so much. I should be furious. I should smash everything in here. But instead, I feel like... I feel like that would somehow just betray her all over again. That fellow on the bridge, he was asking about the sword. You looking for it too? I know. But first of all, this. It's... Okay, I don't really trust. I think it's Veras, yeah. Vera forces a smile as she offers the instrument to Attica. As the new godless priestess, Vera no longer needs her balalaika, but gifting it is still difficult. It is a personal heirloom. The balalaikas are instruments forced by Yabok himself, Vera explains. They have been passed down from generation to generation, kept in the family, but seeing that my kind is nearly extinct, Attica is taken aback by the instrument. She accepts the gift, plucking the strings and inspecting the smooth surface. Attica is more than intrigued. She is enraptured by Vera's remarkable gesture. Thank you, Attica whispered. I've heard this instrument carry mysticism in the strings. Tapping into bardic magic is possible, but takes practice, Vera confirms. For example, tiny earthen elements can be controlled by the playing this melody. May I? Vera's trumps susurrate music combined with spell energy and the ground begins to move. Vatika's mouth drops agape. I wouldn't put that much faith in me. No one else ever does. Aren't you always pointing out that you're older and wiser than your peer? Vatika laughs and asks, <laughs> When taken, Vera? I mean, Miss Godless Priestess? One more thing, Vatika, about the balalaika. Let me guess. Don't let the power go to my head. Only use it for communication, communion or defense. Otherwise, the Balalaika could open a path that leads to the loss of your mind and your humanity. Priestess, didn't you know? I lost my head to the forces of humor long ago. What's that? I did not expect. Then let's go get the bloody thing. I know where it is. You do? Why are you guys so hard to cooperate with? When I found Vera's body, there was a sword next to her. Figured whoever hid the body also hid the sword. I'm not as sharp as some, but I knew it was important, so I moved it. Someplace safe, I'll show you where. The shortest way is through the prison. Okay, I don't really trust you, but... These chaps knew what they were getting themselves into. Ratakud may just be a small mouse, but her people do love her. Wait, there's something green. Hmm. Okay. It is blocked. Now what? This? Let's push this all the way. And this, I think. I cannot really see what we're doing. This. Do the mirror. Stop it! Stop what? All oh, this place is getting more and more corrupted. Time we're back here. 
first. I thought it was just a glitch. Look at these poor blokes. What did they do to deserve? Oh, thank the gods. Help me out, brother. That I will, bro. Wait, I've seen your face somewhere. In the vision. You must be one of the bastards who murdered Vera. I'm innocent, I swear. Come on, Ludomir. Help, please. Leave him. I don't think so, brother. You are exactly where I want you to be. I hope you like your iron heart and your spikes rusty. Damn rat. Oh. I've been here. Yeah, I remember this place. No, I think I entered the other. I took the different path. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, the smell. Oh, God, the smell. Just close your eyes and jump. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Might be something here. Okay, there's nothing here. Seriously. Just jump in. I'm pretty sure the Harbinger does not have sense of smell. Further down is where I found Vera's body. If her spirit didn't guide me here, she would have rotted away. She didn't deserve this, no matter what she did. What she did was a mistake. She wanted to do what was best for everyone. Just chip. So, mate, what wrong person to guide her. Smash it. It's what I'd do. No. Vera used it to release the monster. Maybe you can uh, reverse that. Something like that. That will need help. I'm pretty sure we'll be fighting here, yeah. Fish. <laughs> Man, drop down. Okay, you know what? I don't care. And this one. Oh, look at me! It's another one. They're too close to each other. Yeah. Oh, they died somehow. Really? Okay. Give me a second. That's it. My vision's not what it used to be, unless I'm seeing double. But this is the same sword in your vision, yeah? It has to be. It is. Huh? It's reacting to you. It didn't do that to me. Fish. That's good. <laughs> oh, okay, I just want to get that. Mm, someone doesn't want us messing with the sword, eh? So, what now, mate? First of all, in the Whose is it? No? 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 Forbidden? <gasps> Gently, Elia returns Cloud into his possessed still. 
Are you certain this is the only way? She asks. The harbinger, the Rodentian, Latika, and General Elia had just defeated Kali, a being of tremendous power, a horror that surged from beneath the world. But at what cost? The battle caused a massive shockwave spreading across Rodentia, ravaging the land, killing many innocents, and the harbinger. Only the power of a god could oppose another god. With cloud in hand, the harbinger unleashes Rodent's power on the invader. And such power always comes at a price. The harbinger became tainted by the void. Already her aura grows darker, colder. Slowly, the harbinger reaches out to Cladon. A faint light pulsates from the blade in eager anticipation. What will you do once inside? When will you not take your presence very kindly? The harbinger clenches her fists. Wait until the end. What else is there to do, right? Perhaps you can even win inside his prison. Wooden may not be as strong. Alia stops. She knows her optimist soul. This is goodbye then. The harbinger opens the seal. Then, in a heartbeat, she is gone. The sword lies on its pedestal, lifeless. How can I return to be a Pegarian general after all this? Alia lets out a deep sigh. It is time to pass on the flame, I think. She walks toward the vault's exit, then stops and stirs up Gladden. One last time, Draga. I hope you will never have to suffer for the actions I have taken. She lives and darkens and Jove and growth the vault. Okay. Yes. We'll end this here for now. Thank you. Bye bye.